everyone and welcome to my channel. We have reached episode 8 of The Last of Us, streaming now on HBO Max. And to be honest, this wasn't my favorite episode. I thought it was really slow until the end where we see Ellie's violent heart, as David called. In this episode, we had zero zombies. Like, zero. At least on episode 7, we had one infected fungus person show up, but here, nada, none. And I'm totally okay with it. If you watch my video, my breakdown of episode 1, you know that I'm not into zombie shows and zombie movies. So for me, The Last of Us, it's more of a human show than a zombie show. And when the, the infected fungus people finally show up, you know that crap is about to hit the fan. So I like that they keep it to a minimum. A nice surprise of this episode, and I'm sure it was a great treat for the players of the game, was that Troy Baker, the guy that plays Joel in the motion caption, you know, for um, the video game, he shows up in this episode and I did not recognize him. I watched the documentary of the making of, of The Last of Us and I remember him, but he looked so different, I thought, and maybe because I didn't know he was going to show up in this episode and if someone had told me, hey, this is the episode that Troy Baker shows up, then I'll be like, okay, I can point him out. So it's stick around for the behind the scenes after the episode. You know, after the episode ends, there's a preview of next week's episode and then there's a behind the episode, which I really love because you get insight from the, the creators and some quick interviews with the actors. So if you saw, you know, if you finish episode seven, then stick around because there's a little interview with Troy Baker. Let's talk about the villain in this episode, which was David and his coat. He saw something in Ellie, which I think it reminded of himself, and he called a violent heart, that Ellie has a violent heart. And I also thought that he wanted to make Ellie his main bitch, because, you know, in cults like that, the leader of the cult, he has, you know, all this different wives and different lovers, but he always has a main woman. And also, I think David thought that Ellie was fresh meat. Speaking of meat, my favorite part of this episode was when Ellie finds out that David is feeding his people slash community human meat. And also when Joel walks into the room where the bodies are hanging, I was just like, oh no, this is not good. I kind of knew that he was feeding people human meat when that lady with the short hair she's cooking that soup in that big pot and then that man walks in with all this red meat and she looks at him and asks what is this and he says venison he just says venison and she stops and looks up and down and i was like oh no don't tell me this is not venison now that i'm thinking about there was that scene where David is telling that little girl her dad was Alec and the little girl is asking when we're gonna bury him and David says not yet it's too cold outside so I was like ah oh, now that I'm thinking they're never gonna bury Alec they're gonna eat him also how did Ellie figure out that David was feeding people human meat because she was in that cage um and then she sees an ear on a human ear on the floor and then she tells him she's like hey you're feeding people like humans um you're a cannibal or something like that i don't know how she put two and two together because i would thought that maybe he was just torturing people you know you find fingers on the floor and ears then you're like oh he was torturing people but i would never you know it would never click in my head it's like oh you're feeding people my thing is i am okay with eating the dead for survival if you've seen that movie, it's, it's a famous movie. Um, it's a true story about the soccer team. Their plane crashed in the Andes. And um, for survival, they had, some people died. And for survival, they had to eat the buttocks, you know, the butts of their beloved ones, like sisters and mothers, so they can survive in the cold. So that was fine. But David... I wouldn't be surprised if he was intentionally killing people to use them for feeding. Speaking of David and his coat, 
those people felt more like hostage to me than an actual cult. They were all very, you know, scared and quiet. Like when David hits the little girl in the face, that was a hostage situation. And I was so surprised that no one in that room stood up to him. Now, Joel, we've seen Joel being violent before, but in this episode, we really see his dark side. And I wouldn't even call a dark side because when he was torturing that man to try to get information of um, where Ellie was, and then he ends up killing all three men, I think that was just, it was out of love for Ellie. He was on a mission to find her. And you know, we do crazy things for love, like, you know, slapping someone in the face at the Oscars. Did you guys see Chris Rock's special on Netflix this weekend? I watched it live and I thought it was great. I laughed it out loud like the whole time. Side note, um, Ellie, she basically saved Joel's life, but how did she know when she got that penicillin? She, you know, she had like a full syringe of it. How did she know without Google Schmoogle where to put it and how much to give to him? Because for me, I'll be like, uh, can you OD in penicillin? Am I penicillin? Um, can you OD on it? And also, like, where do you put it? Do you put it on the vein here, in the hand, in the actual wound like she did? Do you put it on the neck? I'll be like, hey, Joel, wake up, help me out here, buddy. So Joel did find Ellie, but he did not save her. She did that on her own. She really dug within herself for that will to survive. Like that scene where Ellie kills David like over and over and over again, that was a career defining moment for Bella Ramsey. And like I said, remember on my video, past videos, I told her that her agent should push for her to have a more emotional scene to show her range. And this was it. Agent, good job. By the way, how did Ellie learn to ride a horse that well and that fast? I know from the behind the scenes, you saw it was a mechanical horse, but in the show, she's riding a real horse. And I was like, when did you learn how to do that? I guess you learn as you go, or she wasn't that fight or flight mode. I loved that final scene where Ellie leaves the burning building and she's all, you know, beat up and traumatized. And she gives that like sight of relief. That whole scene where she kills David and then Joel, you know, finds her and he kind of like scares her reminded me so much of that scene in Yellowstone. Um, I don't know if it's season one or season two. I think it was season one where Beth um, Beth is like kidnapped by this guys and um, her assistant is there. They shoot her assistant in front of her. They beat her up so bad. She's like all bruised and bloody. And then they put her on a table and they're basically about to rape her. And then Rip comes in to save the day, shoots the guys. But then um, Beth grabs like this huge ashtray and then like, nah, 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 like kills the guy just like Ellie did to David. And then she's so like in the moment that when Rip grabs her by the arm, she's like, ah, no, get out. She starts like, you know, going crazy, freaking out, just like Ellie, because you know, when she gets off the burning building, Joel, you know, touches her and she's like, no, no, get off of me, get off of me. And then when she sees it's Joel, she falls into his arms. And then he says, um, what he said, he said, I got you. It's okay, baby girl, I got you. And he said, I got you, not even knowing what she just went through inside a building with David. Oh my gosh, it just melted my heart. So that's were my thoughts on episode seven, no, episode eight of The Last of Us. Yeah, next week and next Sunday, we're going to get the last episode. Do you think Bella Ramsey is on her way for an Emmy nomination? Let me know in the comments down below. And what are you hoping? for the finale of the series. Like I said, sound off in the comments below. And if you like this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the little bell notification button so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you next time.